Do you think how you present your company's history on the about us page is as effective as it should be? Well, you don't have to worry anymore because in today's video, I am going to show you how you can show your company history effectively using Cool Timeline Pro plugin. Now, without wasting any time, let's move towards our video. First, you have to install the zip file of Cool Timeline Pro plugin and then upload it in the plugin section of your WordPress dashboard. A page labeled as Get Started will appear. Follow all the steps or you can even check out the provided videos to learn how you can activate the plugin by entering the license key. After activation, the timeline add-on section will display on your WordPress dashboard. Now here you can create timeline stories in two ways. First one is classic post type based stories, which is perfect for creating multiple or large timelines. Second one is modern Gutenberg based timelines, which is perfect for creating single timelines directly on your Gutenberg pages. First, let's create classic post type based stories. Click on add new story option that is displaying under timeline add-ons. Classic editor will open. Now enter your story's title and description. Next, let's set a featured image for our story. Just click on featured image option and select the image that best fits according to your story. Next, scroll down. You can either select a date based story or if you don't want any date and want to display process steps, a label like early, mid or historic events like AD to BC. Use a custom order based option and select the label accordingly. Now let's set the icon for our story. Just go to icon type setting and search for the icon that fits your story. After you are satisfied with all the changes, just click on publish. Similarly, edit other stories. In pro version, instead of featured image, you can also select slideshows and you can also embed YouTube videos. Just select the slideshow option from the select media setting and choose the images that you want to include in the slideshow. To embed the YouTube video, you just have to paste the video link and after that, click on publish or update your story. Under the timeline add-ons, there is an option of timeline stories. In this section, the stories that you have created will appear. Now you can edit them or if you want to add any new story, just click on add new button that is displaying at the top. Next, go to pages, add a new page or edit an existing one. Click on the plus sign and search for timeline shortcode. Shortcode will be added to your page. From the general settings, select the timeline layout as per your choice. After that, select the design from available option for your timeline story. By selecting from dark or light skin, you can choose if you want a dark or light background for your story. From the categories option, select the category whose story you want to include. Set the story per page just by using the slider. For example, I want to display three stories on a single page, so I have selected three. Similarly, if you want to display two stories, then just select the two. Now update it and check the preview of how your timeline stories will display. Now let's move towards the advanced settings. From here you can change the order of your stories by second also change the date formats of your story that fit well as per your requirements. If you have set any icon for your story, then click on icon. Otherwise by default at the place of icon dot will display. If there are lots of stories on your page, then it can make your page look congested. So to solve that, select the Ajax load more option from pagination settings. By turning on the year navigation setting, you can index the stories from the particular year. You also get the option to adjust the position of the year navigation. After making all the necessary changes, Publish or update the page and check the front end. As we have successfully created our timeline stories, now what about the customization of our story by applying different typography and colors? Let's do that. 
Under the timeline add-ons, there is a timeline settings. Click on that. From here, in the general settings, you can change the text of read more text of your story. You can change the display of your media by applying different colors. In the style setting, you get the option to change the color of your story details. Like you can change the color of your story title, description and background. Implement the different fonts to your story from typography settings and save all the changes. Now preview the page and check how your timeline story is looking. Now let's use second method and create modern Gutenberg based timelines. Open the page where you want to create a timeline. Click on the plus icon and search for the cool timeline block. Default blocks with dummy content will be added to the page. From general settings, select the horizontal layout. You can easily add it and add the story description and heading just by clicking on the blocks. Similarly, added the date. There are multiple media selection options in the Pro version. You can embed YouTube videos by simply pasting the link. Click on the image to replace it with the new one. Want to include multiple images in a single story? Well, then you are using the right plugin. Click on the multiple images option which is basically slideshow option and select more than one image to include in the story. Click on the circle which is the icon box. Select the icon and search for the icon that fits best according to your story. You can add an image instead of an icon by uploading one from the media library. Or enter any text as an icon by selecting the text option. There are two ways to add more story blocks. First is to simply click on the add story button displayed at the top. A new block will appear. Now enter all the details of your story. Using the second way, you can add a block between existing story blocks. Just select any block after which you want to add a new story. Click on the plus icon, then a new block will appear. Till now, we have learned how to edit the stories and add new blocks and media. Next, we will customize these stories to make them fit well as per our website. In general settings, there is a timeline design option. You can set it to simple to display a single story and default if you want to display all the stories. You can select the number of slides you want to appear on the current screen. From content alignment, change the alignment of story heading and description as per your choice. In the style settings, change the typography of story heading, description and primary labels. Using the advanced settings, you can adjust the height, width and margin of media types along with center line width and size of the year box. Want to change the appearance of the icon? From the icon settings section, you can adjust the box size, font size and box radius of the icon along with the alignment of icon box by simply dragging the slider. You also have the option to change the background color of icon box and the font color of the icon. Apart from that, you also get the option to adjust the year label settings and media settings. After making all the necessary changes, update the page and check how your story will display.